June 18, 2018 BN Staff June 18, 2018 BN Staff Bob Me looks back at the classic first encounter between heavyweight champ Joe Lewis and his light heavyweight challenger Billy Conn Bob Me looks back at the classic first encounter between heavyweight champ Joe Lewis and his light heavyweight challenger Billy Conn Don't miss any action. Sign up for the free BN newsletters here Joe Louis, 18th defense of his heavyweight crown in 1941, against the Pittsburgh light heavyweight Billy Kahn, should have been a formality, yet there were plenty of good judges who gave the slick boxing challenger a real chance. How right they were. Khan was on a roll of 19 consecutive victories, had won, defended and then relinquished the light heavyweight championship. He brought thousands of fans with him and promised them if he was hurt he would keep his head and not trade toe-to-toe, -to -toe, as he had done at times in the past. Khan was rocked by a right in round two but settled down and buckled Lewis's knees with two rights in the fourth. The champion responded in the fifth with body punches that shook Khan up. He weaved to the wrong corner at the bell. In the sixth he withstood another big body attack and blood leaked from an eye. In the seventh, rather than fade away, Khan seemed to find strength in his legs and by the closing stages of the eighth was moving forward and peppering Lewis with fast punches. Khan won the ninth, Lewis the tenth but the challenger used his speed and poured out punches without getting over involved in the eleventh and twelfth. With three rounds left, referee Eddie Joseph had Khan two rounds up, Marty Monroe saw the challenger three in front, and Bill Healy had did level. Khan had the momentum, just needed to keep his head, stick to his boxing and the job was done. Jack Blackburn, Lewis's great trainer, told him he needed a knockout and waved smelling salts under his nose. And so history turned. Khan stopped thinking, found a right that cut Lewis's ear but instead of hitting and moving he charged straight into the path of a right hand to the chin. Khan was hurt, should have held or kept out away until his head cleared, but instead the red mist came down. It was bold, brash, thrilling but it was also madness. Eventually a right hand spun Khan round and down. He was still trying to prise himself upwards off his haunches as Eddie Joseph completed the count on one of the most dramatic heavyweight title fights in history, with the clock at 2 minutes 58 seconds of the 13th round. Five years on, after the war, they would do it again and Lewis would beat a less nimble Khan in eight. To see where this fight ranks, get our 100 Great Fights Special Edition. Read more articles by BN Staff.